In this video, we're going to be looking at some concrete that has been bonded using a, an assortment of different methods. Uh, starting from the left here, we've got an acrylic fortifier or acrylic latex, and then we have an SBR latex product. Then we have PVA polyvinyl acetate, and then we have a method using thin set as an intermediary layer between old concrete and new concrete in order to create a bond. And I'm excited to see how this turned out. So let's open this up and, and take a look. Bonding new concrete to old concrete is probably quite a bit harder and more technical of a process than most people are going to appreciate. There are a variety of different concretes, different admixtures or things you can put into the concrete and this changes the physical properties of it or the the mechanical properties of it. like it might be a really viscous concrete versus something that's you know different than that like the point is is that there's a right concrete for every application and as a you know just a, a hobbyist or an enthusiast level concrete worker it's it's a pretty deep world and you're gonna have trouble finding the exact right thing to use for the exact right application and that's why professionals exist you know if you're just doing a little bit of you know fun concrete work around your house some statuary or fixing a divot in the sidewalk that's not really such a big deal have a go at it see how it lasts you know and if it fails in the first year then you didn't do such a good job and maybe go back to the drawing board and, and try again but that's what we were looking at here is some of the different ways in which you can bond new concrete to old concrete in my original video on the subject which is a very simple and straightforward video which more or less was summarizing to clean the concrete well and make sure it's damp and then apply a slurry and put your new concrete on top of that and it's a pretty sound process but it's not a one process fits all kind of thing there are a ton of different ways to bond new concrete to old concrete i will be really interested to see how some of these turned out Starting with the so as you can see we clearly have two layers of concrete here mortar in this case which just means concrete but it doesn't have rocks in it it's just sand as the aggregate and the first thing that you want to do it's like okay we have two pieces of concrete they don't immediately fall in twain so they're not fully separated but does that mean that they're bonded no not at all and the first thing that i'm going to do to determine if it's bonded is something called sounding running something like a hammer over top of concrete will reveal very readily when it has delaminated because it will sound hollow noticeably hollow and uh, that piece there, I mean, it's pretty thin, so it kind of sounds hollow already. If you can imagine when it's four inches thick, it sounds a lot more solid, but... Sounds pretty solid to me. So I'm not going to do much more with that. We'll just get them all out of the mold here first. So this is the SBR latex. Again, you can clearly see that there are multiple layers existing here. Again, that sounds pretty good to me. Now, I'm, I'm confident with all these methods here because these are all standard methods that you would use to bond new concrete to old concrete save for from my experience just the thin set that's not one that i normally do but i'm a swimming pool contractor backyard contractor that's most commonly used on an inside process i've done it a couple of times and i think it works pretty darn good because that thin set as i mentioned in another video is heavily bonded with polymers and bonding agents and you can bond that stuff to pretty much anything. So it wouldn't surprise me at all if it works really well to bond new concrete to old concrete. Now thin set comes in a lot of different colors. 
that stuff in particular was white. So if you saw the other video, you can see that it was a white product and that's why you can see a little bit of a white coloration there between the layers. But again, that sounds pretty solid to me. And I think what we've got here is pretty effectively, we've managed to bond new concrete to old concrete in four different ways. Where this would start to differentiate itself is, what if I just threw all these into my pool and just left them there for a month? Would they all still be secure bonded or maybe would one or more of them sound delaminated or possibly even fall into at that point? Or what if I had some of these and I left them out in winter where at my house we could get minus 30, minus 40 sometimes in the winter? What happens then? Or even worse than that, the springtime where it freezes at night, but it's kind of nice and warm during the day and then it freezes at night again and then it rains and then it freezes and snows and melts and rains, freezes, snows, melts again and I throw some salt on top of it. It's a disaster for concrete in that kind of environment. Would all of these still remain bonded? It's hard to say. It's a very complex subject and some concrete workers, professional concrete workers, are kind of of the opinion you really can't bond new concrete to old concrete, nor should you try but it's something that is application specific. I always say to them, well, I bond new concrete to old concrete when I set tiles in a swimming pool. Are you proposing to me that every time I need to put new tiles in the pool, I should jackhammer out the entire pool and build a new concrete pool? Because that doesn't sound like a sound plan to me. So again, application specific. But generally speaking, bonding new concrete to old concrete is hard. There's a lot of steps involved in it. You gotta do all of them. And if you shortcut them, you're very likely to have a problem.